Hey guys, so what's going on? Evil here, bringing you some Black Rock Mountain heroics. It's that time again. So, we'll be bringing you every single heroic fight in this expansion, and as of course going over all the deck lists. I'm going to change it up a little bit in this expansion. I'm going to go strictly just any card goes. Last time I kind of did a free to play all common deck but I don't believe that this first wing was was free so I'm assuming those of you watching this put money on the game so or at least a little bit but there we go let's try this again insane RNG Anduin versus the Grim Guzzler welcome Okay, we'll keep that uh, The life sure. shall bring victory. Uh, the pain I'll keep, I'll just grab a roll. I'm profit villain. Eh, not the best. I'm gonna draw legendary here. Girl. Everyone! Ha ha! Looky now. We've got a game. Yes, sir. Ha ha ha! I shall bring you the rest. survives. Yes! Oh, Deathwing. Alright, so we're going to play... Fuck. 
restrictions on the land. Attack phase for death wake. Engaged. Karen. Oh, oh, oh. Now you're in trouble. Phalanx! Get him. Of course, tank max, and that'll be a victory. Oh, that, that RNG, though. It's just total RNG. Oh, well Lighted the Naru's uh, to heal. Uh, you might need that heal, you know, early on or a little bit later, so you don't die. You tend to um, lose health quite quickly, especially in this matchup. I get two Resurrects. I thought it would be kind of cool um, because of the fact that, say, he summons a, I don't know, a Sylvanas, and you know. You, kill off your Sylvanas, take one of his minions, you play Resurrect, and you get another Sylvanas. Something like that. I thought it'd be cool in the, uh, you know, to put in the deck there. I got two Shadow Ward Pains for the Grim Patrons. I think that's the only thing that has less than three attack in his deck. Uh, one single Lightwell for heal. He may need it. It's, and it's something you can put on, you know, play early, early on in the game. Two deaths, that are essential. Uh, most of his minions have more than five attack. Uh, about 90% of them do. Two Holy Novas for mass damage and a little bit heal on your minions. Fugin Stalag, that's a nice combo, especially when you're fighting his huge minions. Make these two guys die, Thaddeus pops out, and uh, GG there. Two light bombs, uh, usually, I mean, I did get to that point in the game, but most of the time, a couple times I tried, I didn't quite get to six mana, but uh, anyways, if you find yourself extremely behind, you just pop a light bomb, and most of his minions will die from that. I Karen in there, you could switch him out for something a little beefier. I just put him in there because um, of the death rattle and the synergy with Kel'Thuzad. Uh, Umper Thursan, which you'll get from completing the the first ring on normal. This is a great card. Uh, all Most of the cards in this deck are extremely high mana cost, so if you can keep this guy for in play for a couple of turns, you'll be golden. Hogger for some taunt. Uh, you probably won't use him, but if he pops out and, you know, if you get the taunt, you save yourself a, a lot of points of damage. Sylvanas, of course, take his minions, trade into one. Uh, he summons Sylvanas, you trade Sylvanas into one of, one of his minions, you take his big minion. Baron Geddon, uh, he does... Uh, the only reason I put Baron Geddon in here is because of the spell that he casts that summon four one ones with taunt. Uh, you know, Barrigetta pops out, and he kills all those 1-1s. One Prophet Velen, I don't really have a reason why I put him. I just put him in just to put him in. Um, you can replace him with any kind of big hitter you want. Uh, Faux Reaper, same thing like uh, like Prophet Velen. Uh, he, I mean, the only thing um, that he is good for uh, is because he summons two minions, you only get one. He pops out a Faux Reaper. Or he pops the Faux Reaver out and two minions with six health. You attack, you attack them with the Faux Reaver and they both die. And it gives you board, uh, board advantage there. Grohl, again, uh, you don't need to put Grohl in. I just popped him in there because he just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Kel'Thuzad, I thought would work extremely well with this deck because a lot of his minions are big and, you know, you having a lot of big minions, he pops out Kel'Thuzad or you play Kel'Thuzad. And you just run all your minions and you have just total board control. Uh, we have Rag, just because it's Rag. Uh, don't really need to say anymore, it's Rag. Uh, Sneeds, because of the death rattle. Um, he's not a big minion of, in and of himself. I mean, he's big, but he's not as big as most of the guys in his deck. Um, just because of that, uh, summon a random legendary just can 
keeps that tempo up, allows you to stay in the game. Malagos, um, pretty much for the Holy Nova. Um, that one, I probably would take out. Um, you don't know. You probably want a bigger hitter than 412 or a four attack rather. So I would suggest I just put them in again just to put them in. Hankies is a dragon and you know Black Rock Mountain with the dragon theme. Mechtonier Thermo Plug. Um, I like this card a lot in this matchup because there's a lot of stuff dying and um, he just keeps summoning you know the two twos and you just gain massive tempo massive board advantage so i think he's a good card to pop in ysera because of the dream cards um ysera awakens would be a is a great card for this dream is also a very good card um to give you keep you know keep tempo on your side keep board advantage on your side and deathwing because it's deathwing and most of the time he'll just pop deathwing out and being is that he summons deathwing and he's not and deathwing's not played you don't lose all your cards in your hand and he's a 12 12 who could argue so that was the first boss and we will bring in you be bringing you most of i, I would say all the bosses here in the black Ark mountain uh, guides and all that cool stuff so thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time